Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Europa Universalis 4 as Spain. Okie dokie. So, we're about to be, uh, I think, wrapping up this campaign here. We're going to have some Separatists, is what it looks like. We've got some Mamlucan Separatists that are about to rise up in some places. Uh, let's take a look here. Mamlukan Separatists. I know the Mamluks are out here, so we're going to go ahead and raise autonomy there. We also do have some unrest here in uh, what looks to be Spanish Guinea. Hopefully that'll go away sometime soon, don't you think? We just got out of a massive war with the French, and um, we white pieced basically. We're, we fought them to a standstill, so hopefully we can make something else happen here. <clears throat> Do I want to invade Tuscany? Kind of. Kind of, I will admit. Uh, I'm not going to invade them right now, I don't think. Can I vassalize Tuscany? Oh, wow, I could. I actually want to invade the Ottomans first, I think. I want to attack the Ottomans. So we're going to deploy the mainstay of our navy here. We've got a couple leaders. They all kind of suck. I think we're going to invade the Ottomans right now. We should be fighting the Ottomans, and that's it. He's actually He doesn't have any allies. So, and maybe even we'll be able to call in some allies of our own. We're going to invade North Africa. Um, I actually, you know, I could do battle with him here. And I could invade Egypt and I can even go here for Ubuwea. Let's see. We're hemorrhaging money because we have an army of just about 224,000 men. There's a lot of mercs. They're actually not really regulars. There's just a lot of mercs. We have 46 units of artillery. Let's go and put like 100,000 here and... In, in, um, Let's see, who's going to be the combat leader? I'll pick the 1-3. Let's have like 100,000 in Greece, um, and then we're going to have... Let's see here. What do we have in North Africa? About 100,000? Just about? We can't raise any more any more mercs. So, yeah, 100,000 in Africa, and I guess 100,000 in, uh, in Greece. And we'll see what the Ottomans do. I want to see what they're up to. Um, this is my transport fleet, and then this is my main fleet. Okay. March into, uh, I guess we'll march like somewhere over here or something like that. We're going to blockade. We're blocking out of the Aegean, so I can just kind of siege everything down. We have a little bit of war exhaustion. It's not too terrible. Um, I would love to get like Greece released or something. That'd be pretty cool. Release some of Greece, have them as some sort of vassal or something. Um, this is all Orthodox territory. The Ottomans have not converted this territory here. And then maybe we can release Egypt and, and create a client state there as well. Don't imagine it'd be too hard. Um, I mean, I could just annex it too, and then just start coring it. Let's go and take this stability cost modifier, minus 25%. That's pretty damn good. Are we going to get this? Is this going to fire? No. I hope not. Where's Monta Y? Okay, we're going to go ahead and raise that autonomy there. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's go ahead and declare. Uh, we're going to declare... Holy War, huh? Imperialism is a little better. Holy War is not bad, though. Holy War is actually superiority, but this one is occupation to capital Constantinople. I think I will do imperialism. We can go ahead and call in Austria. If he wants to join, he wants to join. We'll go ahead and call him in. We're going to absolutely annihilate the Ottoman fleet. Ooh, cool. We get a border claim on or something. Wow. That was quick. That was, wasn't this? Oh, it was unmaintained. He's not maintaining his forts. Holy shit. Wow, I did not expect that. Wow, okay, we're going to move into Egypt pretty quickly then. All right, uh, what's the balance of power? Let's see. The Ottomans is, have the largest military on Earth. They have 450,000 men. And we have probably maybe twice or even three times that number. I guess we'll blockade them in. And then let's see if we can go and attack some of his smaller, smaller stacks, I guess. Uh, this guy's going for Cape Bon. That's 28, 49, 32, and 40. Well, actually, no, we don't want to do that. The 
Let's see here. We detached 22 lights. That's not good. 39 and 41. He's got troops in the front row. We're actually... I think we have to go and engage that real quick. Um, yeah. We should be just fine against him. Let's actually check out what he has. Holy Dolan crap. said testing. Whoa, that was Discord. Sorry about that. Let's see. He's got 110 discipline, 8.1 morale, 3.5 tactics. And we've got 115 discipline, 9.6 morale, 3.7 tactics. That's like a stack wipe, I think. I think he got some pretty good rolls, though. Damn. We lost 19,000. He lost about 29, 30,000. I want to make sure Discord is turned off here. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's see here. Ooh, look at this. Interesting. Did we defeat the um, the Ottoman Navy? Where's the Navy? Somewhere around here. Holy crap. The Ottomans are uh, getting their asses whooped by Austria. Austria has some pretty gnarly, gnarly discipline. It's pretty gnarly. Um, Where is the Ottoman main fleet? Holy crap. They have some revolutionaries. 170,000 Ottomans in Greece. That's scary. That's scary. Um, I might actually... You know what we should do is maybe withdraw after we take Anabalu. We might actually withdraw to North Africa. We just won the siege of Iskanderia. Or maybe Iskanderi. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just It's Alexandria. That's what it is. Ooh, look at this. Shift consolidate here. I did not mean to attack these guys, but I'll take it if I can get it. That's probably a stack wipe. No. We killed... Wow, we only lost about 9,000. We killed 28,000 men. That's impressive. We won the Siege of Anabalu. Trade efficiency and some Diplo or a lot of money. I'm going to go ahead and take the trade efficiency. My income should probably skyrocket once that happens. Embargo's on us. Yeah, we shouldn't be embargoing, hopefully, the British anymore. We should embargo the Ottomans, though. That probably sounds pretty smart. Actually, I guess we won't need to bring these troops up to... Um, yeah, we're not going to need these troops in North Africa. We actually, we want to get to Constantinople. Ooh, that's a big battle. Look at that. And the, uh, the Austrians are going to lose. They were outnumbered. Oh my god. The Ottomans just lost 80,000 in that battle. Holy crap. That was crazy. We're blockading all of the Levant. I want to get to Constantinople. Uh, we are tearing the Ottomans apart right now. These guys are... These guys are suffering. Mm. We're going to engage the Ottoman Navy. Ooh, I need to uh, repair probably, but no, let's go ahead and go for it. Let's go and engage here, see what we can do. 27 with. He's got more morale than I do. He's got no leader. I've got a 0 2 0. He withdrew early. No casualties. He's going to take position, or he's going to take refuge. Where did you take refuge? I don't actually know now. Uh, what's going on over here? Oh, damn. We're about to be attacked in mountains. We take a minus two, but we should still win this battle, whatever this is. He's bringing in reinforcements. Nice. We got a little bit of a morale boost. I'm going to take Cairo. We're still holding off. We're still taking that minus two, though. We should probably retreat the Uboea. Uh, yeah, we, we did okay. We actually lost quite a bit, though. We did lose a lot of troops. Dolan said, what the fuck did you just fucking say about me, you little bitch? I'll have you know I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs, and I've been involved in numerous secret raids on. Uh, that's Discord. Sorry about that, guys. Let me see if I can uh, probably close this down for right now.
Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. I do apologize for that. Discord is awesome. Join the Discord if you want to uh, want to play with me. That was that was weird. <laughs> that was a little that was a little strange. Though I gotta go check out what that was. Let's go. So we're we're replenishing. Let's see here. So we're replenishing here. We just took Cairo. And let's go for El Karak. El Karak. Oh. No cav on his in his force. Um we took a minus one. I'm gonna go ahead and say retreat as soon as we can. Actually, no, we're gonna come out of that battle alive, I think. It's not too bad. Uh actually no withdrawal. Yeah, we should withdraw. We lost about equal numbers or so. Let's see. Oh, whoopsies. I forgot about that. We're blockading that, that fleet on purpose. Looks like um, Great Britain is paying a lot of debt for some some people. He's just kind of paying debt all over the place. That's interesting. Let's see, Austria. Hmm. So this is still level six fort. There's no blockade, right? So we can't blockade that. Well. That's not true. Technically, there is actually an Ilkeric. There's actually a blockade that we could potentially put in place there, but. Yeah, I've definitely, I've lost like 40 regiments because of, um, because of, uh, losses. I guess Ragusa has a lot of debt or something? I don't know. It's weird. Let's see. I only have 6% war score against this guy. I haven't taken Constantinople. I think I might have to go grab these troops, to be honest. I don't know if I want to sit here sieging this down forever. Because um, I, already I already took most of the stuff here in Egypt. I don't want anything else. So let's actually go ahead and let's put these troops on these transports. And we're going to transfer these men, I think, to um, Kesri. Artillery shock, artillery fire, military tactics. What are you on? I wouldn't take this if we weren't at war. I'm actually going to go ahead and take this. It's going to be pretty smart to do that. Let's go to... Let's go drop off these troops in Yubawea. And then we're going to march onto Kesari, and then we're going to march by land onto Constantinople. 173,000 men, no siege leader whatsoever. Alright. You say so. We've had our king for a long time. It's only a level 6 fort, no blockade. Wow, we just got a 9 siege roll, not bad. We're probably going to need some of this, so I'm going to go ahead and keep some points for a little bit. We're going to lose that prestige. We have basically no real war score against the Ottomans now. Ethiopia declared war on the Ottomans. Really? Really, Ethiopia? Wow, you're brave, man. You're brave. Damn. The Ottomans are giving Austria a run for his money. And the two Sicilies and stuff is actually being destroyed too. The Batavians are trying to siege back Vienna. I guess Vienna fell to the Ottomans. That's unprecedented. Damn it. Are you kidding? He took Tech 32 as well. Wow. Come on, man. Constantinople's only level 5, so that's going to fall probably pretty soon. No wall breach, huh? 
Very interesting. Damn. The Ottomans pieced out. Or, uh, the Austrians pieced out. Tuscany, no, you don't get anything, Tuscany. No, 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 no. I know, Austria, damn, you have so much debt. What is going on with you, buddy? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him. I don't know why he has so much debt. How could he possibly put himself in debt for this? Holy crap. It's a lot of troops. So we we need to get some taking war score and we're going to take this fort and then we're gonna, we want Constantinople. We need, we like have to have it. We just have to. France is defender of the faith again. We lost uh, our position in Hungary. Come on, man. Take the fort, god damn it. Yeah, let's go and attack him in a deer name. We took a minus one, but we should kick his ass. Wow. He took significant casualties. We're blockading him. Here, we gotta take Constantinople if I want something good. Uh, who occupies all this? Medribari? Okay, so Ethiopia and Medribari basically took all the rest of... I guess... Egypt, so I can't really demand that much from him. Very curious, very curious here. The Ottomans are moving troops around all over the place. Holy crap. I might attack this guy in a Dune right now. Damn it, really? We don't catch him even with forced march? Damn, we're a day late. We miss him by a day. We get here on the 1st of March, he gets here on the 18th of February. No. 18th of February, we get there on the 22nd, and this guy's gone by the 1st. Okay. I say we attack that force. I think I will attack them here. It's probably it's probably gonna be a decisive victory. I hope we get a minus one, but dude, we should destroy this guy. Look at this. His morale just cracks. His entire line just broke. We lost about forty thousand. He lost. Actually, he lost about forty thousand. Damn, we lost a lot of cav. That's pretty crazy. Shift consolidate. I can attack somebody here. Is that where he retreated to? We took a minus two in Felipe. Wow. Let's go back to Constantinople. See if we can go siege this down. Shift consolidate here. Let me see. Taking war score. Yeah, we gotta finish. We gotta wrap this up. I think. Okay, no more battles. We gotta we gotta try and and try and wrap this up. Treasure. We're not generating any military points now. Holy crap! Four military policies. Oh, I'm not even gonna worry about it. Eighteen, eighteen, right now. Let's see if we can finish up this war before the end of the game. Should consolidate here. Intercolonial trade. Nice. Oh no. We lost the siege of Cairo? Oh come on. Damn it. Oh, you guys suck. I thought that was the siege of Constantinople. I thought we won that. Dude, really? Oh my god.
What the fuck? 78%? Come on. A disease outbreak at 78%? Bullshit. Wow. I think the Mamluks just lost their cores on Egypt. No, no way. I don't even know what I want from him. Honestly, I don't even know if I want anything. <laughs> I think I battled him enough. I never took Crete. I want to release Greece or something? Something cool? He won't even do that. Really? You actually won't do that? Wow. That's surprising. Uh, I don't know. Why don't you give me, like, all this? Sure. No money. Just give me, like, some of Egypt, I guess. Looming disaster, internal conflicts? Wow. Wow. Because of religious unity, we're going to get internal conflicts. Can you believe it? <laughs> That's funny. The game's going to end anyway, though, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go ahead and finish up, finish this up, then. This episode's not too long. It's a pretty gnarly war exhaustion, though. Truce with France just ended. That's kind of cool. We're going to go ahead and convert stuff first before we do anything else. Uh, we've got one year of the game to go. Less than that, even. Um, in the meantime, let's actually go ahead and uh, just take a look around the world. If the uh, game is going to end here, we're going to go to players, right? So this is everything that belongs to me, to, for, uh, to Spain. So we have, um, let's see, most of Italy... A lot of the Mediterranean islands. We have a Spanish Netherlands. We have basically all of North Africa is dominated by me in some way. All of all of the New World, basically, um, besides maybe Canada and Alaska. And then we have South Africa. We have Madagascar, uh, West Africa, and then I have a couple provinces out here. I guess in Australia, some in the Pacific. These belong to um, the Portuguese. Actually, they're not mine per se. We actually almost got to the Philippines. Historically, historically, Spain went to the Philippines. But honestly, like, this is this is a lot. Like, all of this, it really makes you think about just how much territory Spain really controlled. I mean, look at the face of the earth. We're, we're literally talking, there's not a, you know, a part of this earth that's not covered by Spain, by Iberia somehow, right? Portugal and Spain. It's incredible. It really is incredible. It's actually like mind-boggling. You know, you had to run an empire the si that size right there. It's pretty crazy. They were the largest empire for a hundred years. Internal conflicts? You're damn right. Dire times are ahead of us. You're damn right. That's so true. We have, we have rebels. I don't even know where they where they went. I don't think it matters. <laughs> Can't tell if the game ends in 1820 or 1821. I think it ends in 1820, if I remember correctly. My memory is pretty bad. We have no admin? Wow, really? Damn, unrest everywhere across the empire. Dire times are ahead for Spain. Oh, I think it does end in 1821. Holy crap, Lemson just declared independence. Whoa. You get one stability? Ooh, thanks. Excellent minister, huh? That's the nice thing with having level 3 ministers, actually, is you get free free ideas and stuff. Uh, or free events that give you, like, stability and things. It's actually really nice. We went through dire conflicts. Interesting. So it is 1821. I guess the game does end in 1821. Moroccan separatists. We're gonna go ahead and kill those guys. Lemson's independent. I could invade them if I wanted to. Excuse me. Some pretty crazy rebels over there in Africa. Not much we can do for them. Yeah, sure, Grand Independence. 
We're going to go through a period of decolonization. Some Tunisian separatists here. Internal conflicts plus 50% stability cost modifier. That's pretty bad. That that sucks. That's got to hurt. August 1820 right now. Wow, we destroyed that stack relatively easily. 72,000 Tunisians. Whoa. Holy crap. Spanish revolutionaries overthrow the government. Can you believe that? 173,000 revolutionaries brought to rise up. Incredible. National Manpower Modifier, thanks you. I will agree to that. Internal conflicts. Gain a general with 50 tradition? Well, thank you. That's kind of you, game. Let's go to... Actually, what general did we get? Wow, they give us a 3-3-3. That's not too shabby at all, actually. Uh, one base production in a lot of places. We cannot stand in the way of progress. And there it is. And there it is right there. Uh, ninth largest army, second largest navy, second most provinces, third highest province value, uh, seventh highest income, fifth highest trade income. We are definitely ahead of everybody else. Um, 144,000 regiments, 352 force limit, 384, or 382 out of 442 ships. We have 43 heavies, 134 lights, 92 galleys, 113 transports, 33% overextension, 143 provinces. Holy crap, man. Empire of Spain. What's this? Uh, we played a Spain. Longest reigning ruler was Isabel II, who gu uh, guided our nation for 52 years. 90 of our wars ended in glorious victory. Zero wars ended in disgraceful defeat. Each year, about... Holy shit. Two million enemy combatants fell to our fire and steel. Each year saw the loss of about two million units. Of our own troops, I'm assuming. Each year, about 481 enemy ships fell to our broadsides. Each year, we saw the loss of 206 ships. We wiped 13 nations from the face of the earth. Our great nation annexed 220 provinces. 251 provinces were unjustly stolen from us. Really? Damn. 94 military leaders served us throughout history. Le legend among legends was Juan Batista Ponce de Leon, a 4532. Nation state religions Catholic. Grandest province was Tunis with 41 development and 44 disasters rocked our nation. That's cool. I don't know if I, I don't know what this is, but that's really cool. I think it's like an after action report or something. I've never seen that before. This is the history, the actual history. Damn. One of our longest reigning monarchs was definitely this dude here, Antonio the First. He's been in power since 1784. Anybody else? Anybody else here for a long time? There was a woman. There was a woman. Yeah, I'm guessing Isabel II is who they're talking about. Carlos was in power for a long time. First of May, 1722 to 1749. Um, let's see. Jose I. Damn! Jose I. 1651 to 1722. Holy shit, that's a long time. Let's see. Isabel II, 27th of August, 1651. Emperor, this is the emperor here. When did she die? Isabel II? Longest, our longest reigning ruler was Isabel II, who guided our nation for 52 years. Oh, so from 1651 to 1722, I guess must have been her. So Isabel ruled with her emperor, who was, I guess, I'm guessing Jose. Let me see here. Hold on. Yeah, so Jose the first, and I'm guessing Isabel the second ruled together. I'm guessing she died. I think she died 27th of August 1651 to first of May 1722. That's kind of weird. I don't know about that. That's that's weird. So yeah, all right, guys. That's the end of uh, the Spain campaign. Spain's also always been awesome. It's a very very enjoyable, very fun, very fun campaign. I think I enjoyed this campaign actually, maybe a little less than other campaigns. Um, colonialism is fun. It's really cool, but. I might have preferred to stay in Europe, maybe a little bit more, but, you know, it was a good time. It was a good time. Very difficult, though, facing the, Fran the French and the Ottomans, and then the Brandenburgians are actually really, really powerful as well. It's pretty hard with, with your ideas. Even we had full, full, basically full military ideas, and it's still pretty hard to actually defeat them, so. 
All right, guys, we'll be doing something else. Let me know what you thought about this campaign, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out Patreon. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks so much. It's been fun.